Hello, Woo! we're back. Final game of the ARG Eternal Games Michigan, Michigan Regional Tournament Extravaganza. extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the last match. Uh, uh, it's a doozy. Again, for the third time, uh, I have to watch myself play a game from above. Oh, uh, yeah. And this one, like, in terms of details, I might actually remember less than the other two, but I guess we'll see going forward. <laughs> but yeah, this is me versus Steve in the finals. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say from the get-go, this like the beginning of this game is a total slog. Uh, a ton of passing and board building and just not fun action, but uh. there's Steve beating me by a single like one digit on the roll. Ooh. Uh, but while we sit here and watch both of us play a bunch of shit on the board and do nothing... Get sad. Sure. I'll at least try to pontificate a little on uh ball three out of the game kind of my thoughts on this <laughs> matchup because people i i feel like whenever i have pitched um restored as the definitive better version of namekian like regardless of even what you're kind of want to do with it fizz beats energy beats what have you ball probably even in, like straight anger um but maybe that might be the only one where that it's an exception but uh mm -hmm. um Oh man, you're getting you're some gonna two. See, sure, you're going to see, uh, I feel like over the course of this game completely, you're going to see a lot of cases where the inherent advantages that Restored Mastery provides uh, just outweigh what Knowledge Mastery gives you um, in terms of creating opportunities to get advantages over your opponent. So right there, uh, Steve went first, played some stuff, I went second, grabbed a fusion from the bottom of my deck. Why did you gain uh, an anger there? I rejuve knee block and That's then stacked right. it on top. I was... Yep. I just forget knee block. Steve <laughs> out of the gate playing a bunch of balls. I'll mill a bunch of stuff. Milling a ball that was just played. Dig the bottom again. Don't need that energy block at the moment. Choke. Do do. You've got a dig and a choke and a block i think two blocks energy block yeah energy block fizz block and fizz block none of that stuff really uh, matters lighten up my world at the moment yeah keeping the choke i believe mm -hmm. yeah rejuving that ne restored mastery mm -hmm. putting on top you know theoretically like as the mastery is written you put it into your hand and then put a card back on top, correct? Sure, yeah. And you can do that if you want to kind of, like, confuse or stymie people. Like, if you want to make them think. In cases, like, in this matchup might be one where you'd want to do it more often than others. Mm -hmm. uh, where you don't necessarily want to know if the card you pulled back is the card on top or not. Because they can theoretically mill it off by playing a ball out of combat. But in terms of... This is a game where I could have done it more because we weren't timing the finals. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of Swiss games, I just never do it because it takes too long. Like, mm -hmm. if you show the card and then put it back in your hand and kind of shuffle them up and put one back, like... What did you just play? Uh, Visitin. Off to the side there, it looks like. Oh, that's her. Or so maybe... Oh, maybe Bjorn that's what... I thought block. it was below, like, underneath the hand cam feed. Yeah, a thing that you definitely have to be cognizant of since you're taking so many micro-actions while playing Restored is that, like, each of those takes a little bit of time off the clock. Um, and in 40-minute rounds, like, you kind of have to... You really... You have to book sometimes. Like, you have to... Uh pick up the pace uh, in order not to get timed out in particularly close games. So that's the biggest reason for that. For if days, else. My land. Yeah. So Steve continuing to build his board a little more than me, but I'm not too bad. I'm not doing too bad for myself at the moment. One more ball activate uh, my smoothest drill, which will be pretty rare. Is that that you put down? Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell. <laughs> it's a colorless something or other. Uh, might be a ball radar. That would be my guess. If it's a style, color, stylist setup and is not visiting, that would be the only one. I can't tell. Uh, yeah, it's got to be. It's definitely Ball Raider because I just drew my other visiting. So. Uh, okay. And this is the point where we've truly reached the horrific nuclear option <laughs> of... Uh, 
passive game yeah, with two visitings each both and a bunch of other stuff on now the board. you've got your smoothness making yep, smoothness drills active and, that, and playing that ball too is a big deal also for other reasons uh, yeah, which we're going to see later on in the game but <laughs> if nothing else um yeah i want to take it away from way as an option for steve right out of his hand or to tutor out of his deck mm -hmm. um and in that exact moment exactly i want to control two balls so that i can build a slight adva hand advantage over steve turn over turn mm -hmm. More blocks. Still hold on that joke. You got the yep, uh, that's Dragon one. Clan. Second ball tutor. You've got that. Um, another one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, Some more blocks that really don't matter. Again, being de being particularly de uh, defensive against knowledge mastery generally not that big of a deal because mm -hmm. they don't usually go super aggressive but still i've rounded out my hand pretty perfectly there in terms of i've got a choke to be aggressive when i need it oh, and then one of each that. block uh, do you remember to mill for the ball let's find out Maybe yeah. not, <laughs> although that definitely wouldn't have mattered. Like, if anything, I probably would have liked to lose that card, so right. there's my first no-no. You could have checked again. Also drawing ball five. At this point, still, Steve kind of sandbagging and i still have no necessarily at this in this stage of the game reason to be particularly aggressive so now that i've gotten another uh knee block that i can loop you know i'll do mm -hmm. that as long as he'll let me so <laughs> <laughs> yeah an ideal in this matchup in this current game state would certainly be for me to get to level two before he even has a combat uh which is possible the way we're going but yeah again that's another like huge highlight of knowledge mastery makes effects that are good for you better but restored mastery makes gives situations you more... where you're in a poor state better yeah it gives mm -hmm. you more advan chances to bounce back or to set up advantages where there are disadvantages um so that's the biggest difference between the two uh knowledge mastery only makes your good states better uh restored is good for you in good times and in bad which is crazy <laughs> important Getting ball mud. In terms of consistency over the course of, say, a tournament, trying to win, you know, enough matches to top cut and then some. Yeah, quick shot, uh, another dig, and another knee block, I believe. Yeah, that's what you put on that top, I desperately right? need right now. So, yeah, assuming I pass out, which I'm pretty certain is what happens here, that knee block's going to go right. It's going to get rejuved, and it'll probably go right back to the top. Yeah. One. Now you remembered. You yeah, I got it time. that time. Good job. That time, the more important part time to me remember. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and there it is again. <laughs> I, I draw another ball that Steve played the turn before. Uh. So this is the turn where I start getting ready to have my active turn um, against Steve. I've got choke for aggression, max mm -hmm. will for aggression, and anger suppression. Um, and I'm going to keep the choke and the max will, I believe. And maybe not even put something at the top. I guess we'll find out. I mean, it's either like quick shot or yeah. But my so that block. Yeah. Now we're getting to the point where my ideal combat is going to be. Um, I'm going to attack him in a turn with as many max wills as I can muster and see mm -hmm. if I can get out of a combat with myself at level two and him still at level one. He's rejuving knee block. Steve finally on the board, anger. Or never mind, he's got four. Yeah, he's That's right, he's about getting anger from other balls. You have two maximum wills now. So this might be the hand. Uh, we are about to find out. Uh, the other important thing that has happened uh, as we've been passing and discarding all this time is even though you've seen me uh, pitch, I think, more balls total since he's got more on the board mm -hmm. uh, in terms of banish, just having the banish because they're already in play, both Steve's ball four and his ball two are in his banish zone at this point. Uh, so I have knowledge that I can uh, loop ball two with impunity. Uh, yeah, and he can't. Which is going to be a big it. deal for the rest of the game. Yeah, so I can suck it out of play and either draw it again or, you know, tutor it out with other ball effects. 
will you visit? And that double shot is, yeah, so that's my... Uh, I'm checking piles to confirm this before I attack. Uh, I believe I'll look at his bandage zone, too. But I guess we'll see. All of his I might have also just noticed there. it passively, but I definitely confirmed it one way or the other before starting the combat to end all combats, since we've got 17,000 actions between us. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm beginning the first combat of the game. Like... How many minutes in was that? Like a uh, million? Like ten. <laughs> oh. My lord. Uh, I'm assuming you're not visiting. No, I don't believe I'd visit for anything here. I don't. And I he think Steve might not either, because this discard really isn't full of very much good stuff. Like, yeah. you can get some random block, but... He's oh, popping he's something. Getting he just gets an energy defense. Which, one? Which does actually come into play this I guess combat. it does kind of matter. Yeah. But the combat's so long that I almost forget about it. I do remember that. <laughs> Start with the choke. No, no, no. Not even. No? No. Oh, sphere. Hybrid defense, I think that was. Yeah, we're going to max Will because he's got four anger and fuck that. <laughs> does that just set it to zero? You max Will mills two. You you choose to mill up to two cards oh, from your deck, okay. and then it lowers two for each card you mill. Ah, yes. Uh, so Steve will throw Piccolo one power that I endure off. Get rid of another. It looks like he here. forgot to raise his own anger there, and maybe also forgot to rejuve. Maybe. Let's see if you. I'm waiting my own options. Are Again, at this point, like I said, my game plan is, fingers crossed, to be at level two when he's not. Mm -hmm. I definitely also want to time that second max will for the most anger uh, loss I can generate. So, yeah, that's going to be a mastery to level up. Uh, I don't think I discard anything, but you're, yeah, I'll oh, double check here. Your drill is gone. Yeah, I remember to discard my drills. Yeah, we're not going to pitch a card. I mean, I think you have a ball in your hand still, don't you, or no? No. I thought I you did. Tell. He might have just remembered to raise his anger from that. Yeah, he... it looks like he... Okay, yeah, I think he finally caught it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he put the block back, too. Yep. Oh, okay. And now he's going to have weighted clothing. And then I'm going to determine a three is good enough <laughs> uh, to max will him back down to nothing. I believe that's the next thing that takes place here. if you do then he can't level up off of the weighted clothing alone Correct. this combat yep. uh, cause like I said my other big option is I have that double bla uh, double shot double blast I always forget what that stupid card's called but the one that shuffles a ball to um, it's owners to, like that to a crit yeah so that's that's my go to I've got two ball tutors in play so I can mm -hmm. loop ball two Definitely once this combat, if I just choose to shuffle it in. And the, the action sequence that I want to set into place is that uh, Ball 2 is already in my deck when he does reach level 2 this mm -hmm. combat so that I can put him at level 1 uh, without him even getting to use his level 2 power. It looks like... Yep. Yeah, this is a big... Uh, yeah, that'll be the second Maxwell. This is a big uh, momentum building turn, like... I don't I don't necessarily care if I come out on on top life deck or board wise, but I want his his board to be diminished, and ideally I'll have control of more dragon balls at the end of the combat. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, if I can get him to waste resources and still be at level one, which I believe is the end state of the combat when we finally finish up yeah. trading a billion actions, there goes another way to clothing. Uh, then I have had a successful turn. <laughs> Doom, doom, doom. It's like you are going to double blast or whatever. I'm it's pretty called. sure, yeah. That looks like is, the card that you pulled out. Yeah, because he's obviously now definitely within. Uh, choke. He's way within choke range. Well, yeah, he's way within choke range, but he's within leveling in a single action range mm. more than anything. Oh, I guess so. That's yeah, kind of what true. I care about there. So, yeah, now ball two is in my deck. So, 
the next time he take in whatever action he does get to level two in, I can immediately not punch him back down to one and not worry about uh, getting back up. Piccolo's level uh, two right. power. Right, Piccolo's level two power. And he would not be able to use level one again Correct. because he yeah. already used, you, physically used it this combat. Even if you change levels multiple times a combat, you can only use each level once per turn. Mm -hmm. So since he's already leveled one once, he cannot do it again. Mm. I always forget stuff like that because I'm so used to playing a personality with constant powers. Yep, that looks like uh, another way to clothing. Might, I think that's all three now. Yes, he has used all three this combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's going to go back down. <laughs> We're not going to have any of that. And he doesn't have any... All of those are setups. He Correct. has no drills. Yeah, he has no drills. I think lookout drill is the only drill he runs. Uh, and, he, and it is not in play now. I know he got rid of it at one point. Mm -hmm. And again, based on how... like. The knowledge of what has been banished from each of our decks. His ball tutors are sort of inert at this point. Um, unless his own balls leave play. Mm -hmm. Or I guess until his own ball le leave play. Because I believe that's going to come into play later in the match. But like, ball six is the only ball not in play right now. And neither of us gives even like a fraction of a shit about it in this game. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not going to be a factor. Like he could go tutor it. But it's not going to yeah. accomplish much. Aside from a later ball victory. But it doesn't really matter. Sure. You wouldn't waste an action to go get it now. Mm -hmm. And like you had mentioned before, uh, two and four are already in his right. banish so, yeah. So again, like my turn is basically like the thing I wanted to, d to happen happened in spades. Like those ball tutors don't really do anything. Growth doesn't do a ton at this point in the game. Like he could read you some, but right now I don't really care about that. Mm -hmm. uh, heroic plan could get some other stuff, but like Steve's had so much board out already that like probably a random fusion or something is the biggest thing he's going to pull with that. And visiting won't do anything at least oh, in this Oh, you pick too. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, so that's gonna, and I got the double blast back, which is, like, that was a pretty solid draw. Like, yeah. I was stoked to see that come up. Dig. And onslaught. And optic blast. Not yeah, and so I was planning to hit hit the gas hard here, like. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, he growthed. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Steve flinching that choke fucked up my entire turn because my plan in my head was to steal. But isn't it unstoppable? Yes, but he took a ball off the table, so he's still going to take the damage mm -hmm. um, and banish it, but now that he's got one ball, I can't crit to steal it. Oh. So, Because my plan was to take ball three, draw up all the cards that I just stacked with ball seven, and then just really fucking go to town. Uh, but now I can't capture any balls since he reduced the number of balls he has on the board to one. Mm. And that also does reactivate, uh, like now he can tutor for ball five and get more options there. Which is exactly what he'll do. But yeah, the game probably would have been over essentially this turn <laughs> if that hadn't happened. Which was, I mean, a solid play from him for sure. Uh, I thought it was un unstoppable. No, it was, but you can you can still choose to use one block. But can't you like, can you not do that on disc then, or can? No, you, you can if you okay. want to. Uh. Yeah, you can, t like, stop a disc, quote-unquote, stop a disc to gain the secondary effect of a block before taking the damage from the disc. I mean, I've stopped things that have been timed. Yeah, like, any... if I've used timed and sure. actually blocked stuff. Like, especially for those mm -hmm. hot anger blocks that Black has. Say I'll fusion to at least draw that dig, because now knowing that I have dig and double blast, I can at least dig to make it unpreventable. Mm -hmm. um, that was cute that was also a clever Steve uh, destroying my lifting kick <laughs> off of Bulma to make uh, focused assault hit harder uh, But how do you do that? it gets rid of an attached card and the card that oh, Bulma it's, attaches it's a attached? card to herself, huh. herself Yeah. I didn't know that was considered attached interesting mm -hmm. so he gets one back He's at three anger again, so now my, my choices are, because I would have liked to dig first. I don't remember if I actually do dig first or double blast first. It, it looks, looks like, like you're I'm, digging. Going, I'm going to dig. Because uh, that'll net me two ball captures, mm -hmm. uh, essentially, since I'll have the... And he flinched. Man. 
man, two flinches that turn. <laughs> <laughs> But he hit, wait, how did he? What just happened? He flinched ball five in again, and then two aired out. Shuffling also gives you anger in a mech in. Is that, was that your question? No, why did, because he just shuffled ball five in. Why did he get ball five back? He had another ball tutor. That's how stacked his board was. Oh, which, he oh, had, oh, it was his fusion, right? Well, he had, no, he had, uh... Radar and... I guess uh, he had... Oh, I must have missed him play the radar or something. Right. It was bizarre. Yep, and I'm going to loop ball two yet again. And luckily, uh, I get ball one back, so even if he does pick a low power, which I think he does, but I'm not certain of, so we'll see if he does that as his next action. But uh, I'm going to get ball one. And I get to take another, another ball, because assuming he can block this, which I don't believe he does... Uh, he, yeah, he played that. Oh, did he? Never mind. He played. At least he played a block. Okay. I mean, he's anything. shuffling. So yeah, never mind. He he did energy guard or whatever. My bad. Shouldn't you be? Oh no, you didn't. So yeah, that dig really only did poorly for me. Um. Uh, but what are you gonna do? Can't have clairvoyance. Okay. Uh, Steve, considering his options, looking at piles. I'm not 100% sure what he still has in his hand. Yeah, because my next action will almost certainly be to punch him down to level 1 again. <laughs> Doubly so if he decides not to level 2 power here to just uh, take a ball back. Do -do. I'm not 100% sure what that card was. Is it Heroic Plan? I believe so, yep. So he's going to go get some kind of setup. But again, like I said, I don't think he has a ton left. Uh, yeah, he's burned through a lot. Yeah, so he's just going to get like a random growth. Because at this point, yeah, he'd only really have a growth or, like I said, probably another fusion. Mm, yeah. Uh, he no, settled on fusion, I think? I think so. It doesn't it's do hard to tell. Yeah, I couldn't have been happier to see him do that. Because <laughs> now I get to do this. Yeah, he didn't notice that I shuffled it back again. <laughs> uh, you and your ball looping. So Steve, back to level one again. <laughs> Why is he at full? He just fusioned. And again, another oh. case where running new level one would have helped him a ton. Uh, although he's going to get right throw anyway, so that'll be just fine. But uh, that would have leveled him up mm -hmm. uh, with new level one. And in this case, just kind of netted the one anger. I'll fuse for a confrontation. Steve's going to right throw a ball five. And so he still does make it to level two this turn after all that work. <laughs> Yeah, but just think of how, how far he would have gotten. Sure, and the point is right, and the point is I weathered the storm. Like his board mm -hmm. was, you know, two to three times the size of mine oh, when yeah. we started this turn. It's two and to now three times the size it was now. Sure, and now we're basically even. Mm -hmm. And being even, like I said, I still consider myself at the advantage just because I think my mastery is better mm -hmm. um, overall. So if we're if we're otherwise in a neutral state, I consider myself ahead, uh, just because restored gives you more options. Getting rid of his last card, or he him sphering it. Yeah, I think it was, I th so, was like, ah, I'll see what he's got left in there. But yeah, I needed him one more anger, which still worked out because what I, again, what I really wanted to prevent there was just him from piccolo powering. Yeah, and by and sphering, he, he still couldn't do it. So and he drew ball five again. That worked out fine. <laughs> this game is a mess. Uh huh. But not in a mess in the way the other game was. Give Bulma a bunch of stages. Draw a card. Way to go, Bulma. How many fusions does he have? Fusion Kami. Kami fusion. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I sort of, yeah, and then after this turn, I sort of go back into... Uh, turtle. And not quite turtle, but just like... I'm looking for a... To make one big combat happen. Mm -hmm. um, can't draw the dig. Maximum will, sphere, and a 
Dragon Radar. She must not. Have, it wasn't Dragon Radar before. No, the other two I used were um, the Dragon Clan. Dragon Clan, and I used. I always forget the name of the other one. The one that two tutors one equal to your level. Uh, Disturbance. Yeah. The one that's right over there on yeah. um, Steve's board. Correct. In fact, maybe that was Disturbance that looked. It looked unstyled when it was just barely out of frame. But. Yeah, maybe. Uh, who knows? Steve drops a lookout drill, rejuves one, but otherwise doesn't really do anything in this match. Like, I mean, might prevent a ball 7 mil from me if it changes hands again, but... And 6 isn't getting played. Yeah, and he didn't have, like, a huge reason to, so yeah, that's fine. Like, <clears throat> Nothing wrong with keeping that off the table. Maximum will, a confrontation, and a speed. Oh, again, right the same... Here? Sure, the same difference as I said earlier, like... I'm more targeted to ball victory, so I'm going to be better at ball victory than he is. So probably a, the right call to not drop ball six in play. Um, and give me, like, the whole bo board's worth of balls to try to steal my way through. But you can't steal his last one, right? Well, not with a crit, uh, mm. but you can with either quick shot or ah. optic blast. Oh, that's or right. Piccolo level 3 power. So those are mm -hmm. all your biggest options for taking the last ball away. Or you can do stuff like, depending on, and I don't, don't think it applied in this game because like, all of the, like I, all or most of like our alternate balls have been banished. But mm -hmm. um, you can hurried quest up you know, the ball that they control and then go tutor your own copy if you've got one left. Like you can uh, remove it from yeah, play yeah, that yeah. way. So you've got a ton of options. Piccolo, f new Piccolo 4 can get balls from the banished zone, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and I definitely don't make it there in this game, but, yeah, that's another, like, even if they're in the banished zone and you're at level four, you know, you can hurried quest theirs away, and... You put that maximum well on top, right? I think that's what you did. I believe so, yes. Steve, considering his options, this might be his first combat of the game? Let's find out. Certainly thinking about it. The other thing that was weirder for me in this game as the, the game went on is that... Uh... <laughs> Maximum will hybrid defense and I believe another choke. Uh, up until this point of the game where I've gone through like at least half of my life deck. Mm -hmm. uh, I still haven't seen a hurried quest. I run three, and they're all still in there somewhere. <laughs> so up until, I think, the last turn of the game, uh, the, not definitely the last like big combat, mm -hmm. uh, I hadn't drawn one all game. Because <laughs> uh, that was going to be a big deal. Like That's the thing I wanted more than anything, like to uh -huh. have on an aggressive turn against him. And whatever, it might be this turn, but the combat that I ultimately choose to enter on Steve again... It doesn't look like you're entering. Yeah. Uh... Like, that's what I would have liked to have, among other things, but it wasn't to be. <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't it, Yeah, too. okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go back to board building. Uh, so I'll read you that delightful energy guard, maybe? No, no that's, I forget what that one's called, but on rejuve, uh, it puts a drill from your discard pile into play. Steve's asking what it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah, playing the smoothest drill, uh, Namekian drill. Similar to why uh, other people should discard once it leaves play. Like, I've already discarded for the turn, so I don't get to keep two that turn mm -hmm. after rejuving it. But in this next turn, I will, which will be pretty rad. Now he's got Corrin out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and, like, yeah, Steve passes here. I'm going to go ahead and keep a two-card hand and rejuve that same block again <laughs> uh, to grab Heritage Drill. Yeah, because To get ready for my big, like, I'm going to try to kill him push <laughs> uh, later in the game. Heritage Drill, another cool, really cool, super uh, uh, underplayed card from set one. So it gives plus one life cards to all your energy attacks for each equal to your current level, similar to how uh, Hybrid Defense rejuves. So right mm -hmm. now I'm at a plus two modifier from that card, plus three total with ball one. Mm -hmm. uh, so even like your chumpy little energy attacks, like I can throw a quick shot for five now and be within crit range. And that's uh, any? It's not just style? Correct. Yeah, it's energy attacks. So it's not physical attacks at all, mm -hmm. but any energies. So that Optic Blast will do 9 on hit, which is <laughs> no joke. Yeah, this is going to be my combat turn. Like, that hand is legit. Apologies for not flashing it to the hand cam, but... 
I was kind of, I think I fucked that up more in this game than my other ones even. Like, I was so focused on trying to win that I just... Yeah, well, I mean, it's the finals. Because <laughs> yeah. you've got a hybrid defense, optic blast, um, that energy guard, and an onslaught, and a sphere. Mm-hmm. Sitting pretty over there. Yeah, that is a solid hand. Like, there's all, pretty much nothing missing from it. Like, it was a coin flip or, like, would you rather have, like, a confront or that sphere? Mm -hmm. Like, that's kind of a toss-up, but... Yeah. Um, like, yeah, it's not going to get much better than that. So, right now I'm really just trying to, like, gird my loins to actually pull the trigger because <laughs> I'm probably not going to get a better hand. Yeah. And, again, people are not as, in general, not as aggressive in this game as they should be. Like, you are at such an advantage relative to your opponent when you attack them. Yeah. Uh, coming in with a hand that you know what it is and they get three random draws. Uh, so, if you can, you know, find it within yourself to declare combat a little more often... In general, you'll probably win more games that way if you can just, you know, lean into people and put them on notice sometimes. But yeah, my smoothest drill equivalent definitely going a long way. No, to you're, this. Are, you're not? Or what are you doing? Oh, maybe not. Must be the next turn. But it's so good. No, see, I'm just a still like, I super want to do it, but I kind of know that this is going to be the turn. Like, this is either where I win or maybe lose if I if shit goes bad. <laughs> and, I mean, theoretically, you do have those two visiting still. I believe mm, they're correct. both on the board. Yeah. Definitely one, as we can see it. But, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think anything happened to them. Because you never used them. Right. No. It's probably the other thing I'm thinking about. Like, since I have those out, like, oh, I could pass and basically rebuild this whole hand if he attacks me. Mm-hmm. And then some, because right. you'd get a little more. Sure. But yeah, this is the one where I really take my time. Uh, considering, like I said, it's basically going to be the turning point of the whole game. Like, we're still about even, and at this point I'm down life deck wise. Uh, but in terms of just like overall kind of control of the game state, like, mm -hmm. we're pretty much 50 50, I would say, before this combat happens. So whoever comes out ahead here. Considering that we're, like, late-ish in the game is probably going to pull it out. Thinking super hard. Yeah, I think, I think I've decided to declare at this point, and now I'm trying to decide if there's anything I want to trade in my hand. Like, do I want to visit for something else and throw uh -huh. something away? And I just might. Like, I feel like I might get rid of one of those defenses. Like, maybe that energy block and go grab something else. Well, we're about to find out. Think me, think. <laughs> nope, you're not. I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I'm attacking with one visiting. This is probably for a confrontation. If not, it's for either a dig or an energy attack, but I don't think it is. Yep, confrontation. confrontation. He doesn't have yeah, too much in, but he got, I think, was just a block. I think he got, he, I think his discard was just like two blocks or something like that. Mm -hmm. And again, you know... I definitely want to confront, but ideally I'd do it, like, he's got two cards that are going to change the contents of his hand. He's got a Piccolo 2 power, and he's got uh, a Fusion, so I do think about it. And you did. Yeah, ultimately I decide to go for it. Uh, I'll at least see what the Fusion card is. Um, he's got a confrontation. Yeah. Uh, Overwatch? Overtime. Overtime. Energy block. And Overtime can tutor the energy block, so... Mm -hmm. Basically, I have no reason to get rid of the energy block. I would just get rid of the overtime if I'm going to target one. Or the confrontation or the onslaught. Right. But you, I mean, you do have a block, an energy block, or hybrid defense. And you could sphere the overwatch mm -hmm. over time. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. I'm a mess. Yeah. Crushing beam is still the only thi like really thing threatening attack-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, like, over time, can net him some anger, and it'll do a little chip damage, but it, he'll be out of ball capture range on two shots of that, so I'm um, not too concerned about that. If 
you also have one sphere that can either target the confront or the uh, overtime. So I mean, if you theoretically got rid of like either of the events, the other one doesn't matter. So you could just right, sphere it. Correct. I'm pretty sure I leave him the confrontation. I might leave him both of them. Uh, Such thought. Yeah. Much pondering. Sure. I might get the energy block here <laughs> and then just punch through, uh, go for the, to try to guarantee uh, the optic blast going through. Because uh -huh. that's the thing I want more than anything, really. Well, yeah. But that, uh, that also guarantees that I wouldn't be able to sphere both the conference again mm -hmm. and the uh, overtime to get it back. So I don't know. Let's see what I do. <laughs> If anything, we could uh, just be here. Because yeah, there were. I was trying to weigh the million different options. <laughs> As usual. Yeah. <laughs> For all my talking about entering to give your opponent random draws, Steve also drew into a hand that was essentially like that was a could have that could easily be a hand that he chose himself. <laughs> like yeah. that's how good his hand ended up being. So not what I was hoping to see. On a, I mean, he did. A, I mean, he visited for the one block. Yeah, but, not what I was hoping to see on a combat there. But. Yeah. <laughs> Not getting rid of you visiting. Tut, tut, tut. I tapped it. I, I just forgot to put it away. Mm. Cheater. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like I said, this is a big turn. This I is know, the one that matters. but still. <laughs> it's rough. Might be the crushing beam. Nope, it's the energy block. All right. I think if nothing else, I'm just hoping there that he won't do that. Like that he mm -hmm. won't try to overtime for it. Uh, or, you know, a different energy block. But mm -hmm. uh, that he'll either take a different action or just overtime for, you know, some other attack that I don't give a shit about. Yeah. And he's going to pick a little power, which I don't love, but... Uh, it's not quite game breaking for me either at this point in the game. Mm -hmm. Where did your lookout go? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Refusing. There's my no. It's an optic blast time. You don't have to get one with this, do you? Uh, no, you would. I would. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of damage. Nine to the head. <laughs> or eight to the head, excuse me, because he had ball one. <laughs> and then I'll steal one. Yep. Mm. So a two-ball turnover, not bad. Again, couldn't use it to take his last ball, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that ball three is going to be enormous. There's and your finally, quest. yep, after all that, <laughs> after drawing through my whole fucking life deck for this whole game, Hurried Quest appears. Ba -ba -da -ba. I think you're putting it back. Well, there are two in there. Oh, drew, there's two. <laughs> yeah, I drew two <laughs> in those three cards, so I definitely like, keep sorry. one of them. Right. And he, wait, did he just tap the lookout? Uh, yeah, and I'm not even sure why. <laughs> but okay, sure. It is a drill. So yeah, now I choose, do I sphere? And I, pro I almost certainly do sphere. Yep. Yeah, but I could have also not. Uh, yeah. Uh, and held it for his overtime. I mean, well, the one thing you really wanted to happen happened, and you got that optic blast. Mm -hmm. Oh, in fact, does he have the overtime, or did he pitch it for Piccolo's power? Now I'm forgetting. That what I don't know. Before. Yeah, I'm really that confront actually helped me out a ton because that means he could he didn't Piccolo three power, so I didn't even have to take that as like an action this turn. And now I'm mm. gonna ball once again ball to him back onto a level where he's already activated his ability. Uh. Hmm. 
<laughs> we finally figured it out. But... <laughs> oh, that's why he did it, because he tried to dodge the mill from uh, Optic Blast. Oh. <laughs> Duh. I'm explaining how Hurried Quest works, and then now I'll pick some stuff. And again, I'll basically I'll remove the two balls that I have complete control of. Mm -hmm. I know he doesn't have ball four or ball two in so his deck you, anymore. Do you just pick those both up? Or are they just in your hand? Or? Yeah, you return them to whoever owns them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, if he theoretically they could be both balls that he owns. The first one you target has to be, uh, or excuse me, the second one you target has to be on your side of the field. But the first one can be on mm -hmm. either player's side. You turn one that either player controls, and then you return I'm one. Assuming that you he overtimed. And does get an energy block. Back to me. So again, I've got kind of a ton of options here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could... Among like, them, do I want to... Uh, and I definitely do this. Probably ball two goes into the deck again. Uh, and mastery. Yeah, I can mastery a ball away. Uh, well, it looks like ball four. Another optic blast? <laughs> Yeah, that was another rock solid. Like, <laughs> not gonna lie, that 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 random draw was really good. Like, that was. What did a... he just do? He fusion. Yeah, he fusion. Okay. If I could have chosen the card that I draw there, Optic would have been among them. So, certainly not a bad thing to have happen at that moment of the game. And again, you know that he's got that. Master... He only has that one block. Right. So I'm going to try to bait it out with one of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's still going to hit hard. Now it's going to do seven because uh, I've got the drill and ball one again. Mm -hmm. So like that's not, like a non-trivial amount of damage. And it stays because of the number of balls yep, you I've have? Yep, because I control two. And they're... Yeah, so he used his block, which is, again, <laughs> like I'm pretty stoked about that. <laughs> I think his crushing beam comes out now. Yeah, and I'm, I have my hybrid defense. Yeah, so you. I came prepared. Came ready to party. Yeah, and I believe this is going to be a rejuve to level because I'm pretty sure there are two knee blocks in here. Like that was one of the other things I was checked. I checked for while rifling through mm. piles. <laughs> so this is going to get me. Oh, never mind. I take it all back. You know what? Yeah, in fact, I might be thinking of a different game. Mm. Or maybe. Well, let's see. My memory is shit. That's the <laughs> that's what we learned. <laughs> well, there's one, right? Yeah. So I think yeah, maybe I like. Uh, there are two in maybe, there. Yeah, I think I got there. So let's see if I actually go for those instead. Are you getting that maximum will? Nope. Yeah. Still solid choices. Two really good cards. Nope. Nope. Oh, nope. I take it all back. Okay. Also, two solid choices. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I believe Steve is probably passed to me. I mean, nope. he's at least Maybe. looking at stuff. Yeah. He might still be considering his options. Because he used that over time to get that block, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's got three anger. Nothing on the board right now that will mean a whole bunch. Yeah. Uh, okay. In terms of actionable 
uh, things that he can do. He's got like all of his Dragon Balls. Now it might be back to me. I'm fidgeting with my hand in a way that indicates I'm probably about to make a decision. <laughs> yep. And there's the second optic, which he's going to be real sad to see. <laughs> <laughs> now for the whole nine. Mm -hmm. Gross. <laughs> so much damage. And it's just on hit you get a capture, right? Right, yeah. So I'll crit that. Let's see. Is it? Wait. Yeah, I'll crit Corrin. Because he did read you from Corrin taking damage. I thought it I think. was physical attacks. No, it's just life cards. Is it? Oh, maybe that's. I knew there was something yeah. with it. And a dig, which again, another like <laughs> a cool thing to have drawn. Because uh, now I can kind of pitch that out and then mm -hmm. use that second uh, onslaught. Yeah. Endurance free. <laughs> and then you've just got a mm -hmm. ball. So and yeah, is I think that Steve's it? got 10 or 11 cards left. Uh, yeah, I believe it's just a ball two. And, oh, no, are you? What are you doing? Yeah, the physical block. Okay. Yeah, I believe he's got 11 cards. Because the dig plus the on, on, second onslaught was going to kill him. Mm. And now it's going to put him within a life card of death, essentially. Mm-hmm. Do you have no endurance in that, or do you just choose not to endure? Well, I dug. That was the other... Oh, that's right. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that was on hit and it did that. And here I was going for the clever kill of, I was like, oh, I'll crit Kami and then he'll have to tutor ball six and die. But he had right throw, so. <laughs> <laughs> Stays in the game uh. and goes to level three, no less. Uh, so, like, I'm still pretty far ahead. I think I've got, like, a 15 to 20 life card deck here. Yeah, like, I'm probably your... not worried about losing the game at this point. But it was still like, a, oh, I thought I had immediately clinched the victory, and instead he kind of threw it right back in my face right <laughs> at the last minute. So uh, still had to think about it. So now I'm like, I'm basically running on empty, no hand left, a couple things on the board. I'll just tutor mm -hmm. for my own ball six here, um, since I can't actually stop his level three power. So I'll take a little less damage this turn, and then, you know, possibly a little less damage next turn if he enters and immediately does it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'll guarantee that he can't put it into play because that it's a much bigger deal if he were to enter and level three power with his own ball, then he could bounce it and take one of mine, which you yeah. know at this point would just be ball one, not the end of the world, but I'd still rather have him take none of them. And again, there's there's new mastery coming through in spades. Uh, <laughs> The ability to selectively stack that block is a big fucking deal at this point in a game this close. <laughs> Knowledge mastery helps you when you're winning. It doesn't help you when you're losing. And that's sort of exactly what's about to happen here. You've got multiple blocks in your hand and their maximum will, I mm -hmm. think. So, yeah. So, he can he can do his power. I don't give a shit. He can play basically any other attack. And I think he lead does lead on his power. And I don't I think care. that's what you and then I'm Yeah, and then I'm just like, well, I'll block it and Piccolo 2 power and mill you to death. <laughs> And there we go. And that's going to do it. Because, yeah, he could have let on the crushing beam, too, but he knew I had the mm -hmm. energy block. So, <laughs> oh, for not de like I said, definitely not a blowout. Like, that was a close-ish game for mm -hmm. sure. Um, and Steve definitely did some really clever things. Uh, oh. At, oh, camera going nuts. At some critical moments that made me, uh, you know, either reevaluate my oh. game plan or uh, yeah. kind of... Uh, just, like, think on my feet a little more. Like, I couldn't mm -hmm. just do exactly the thing I wanted to in a combat, but... I managed to pull it out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to do it. That's the last match in our uh, from our archive. <laughs> Michigan ARG Eternal Games Regional Tournament Extravaganza. <laughs> wow. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching most of these matches. There was mm -hmm. definitely some cool stuff that happened in each of them. Mm -hmm. uh, some exciting moments. And we'll definitely, you know, stream and archive more of us playing this game at, yeah. like, you know, bigger-ish events in the future. Like, so. um, like, had been, like Mike had mentioned at the 1K last month, um, I think there's going to be another 1K in April. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll um, confirm that. But... I doubt there will be any streaming at the release event, which I think no, is the next big mad. thing, because that's who cares? Dumb. Yeah, no one wants um, to watch Sealed. That's a nightmare. So, I think, I'm just thinking that's the next time we'll have stuff up. Mm -hmm. is so, yeah, you'll see it on in the internet. Yeah. It'll be on Retro or whatever, but... It'll definitely get posted and mm -hmm. notified yep. what right. we're doing here. Cool. Well, yeah, thanks for sticking Woo! with us. If you watched all this <laughs> stuff, uh, yeah, we'll be back with... More games, more events, more tournaments in the future. Woo! Bye-bye, everybody. Bye!